of the break how to find the right sneaker for any workout. These are nice colors. Yeah. Well, whether you're hitting the running path, heading to dance class, or just walking around town, finding the right pair of shoes is essential to feeling your best. So Bahar Takteshian, editor-at-large at Shape Magazine, here is here to break it all down for us and what to wear for each workout. So I, there's so many different choices here. There's a lot to cover. That's right. Well, thankfully at Shape, every single year we have our annual shoe awards. So I'm sharing just a couple of our favorites, and we have something for everyone. Let's start with the group class. Yes. So if you're going to a group workout class. Right. Or if you're someone that likes cardio, someone that you know likes to switch things up day to day, your best bet is a cross trainer. So cover all your bases. Exactly. Okay. Our testers really enjoyed the Rika influence that we see right here. Of course, all of these shoes come in different colorways. What's great about a cross trainer is it's really like the LBD, the little black dress of your sneakers because you can wear it for boot camp, you can run in it, you can walk in it. If you're someone that doesn't commit to a sport, the cross trainer is the one for you. And if you don't know, you should buy the cross trainer. Exactly. <laughs> I like these a lot. Those are great. Yeah. Okay, so these are dance class shoes. That's right. This is from Zumba. Off. You can do this for Zumba. You can wear these for hip hop classes. You'll notice that there's a lot of support in the ankle area. Okay. That's important important when you're dancing and you're moving that way you're not going to get hurt you don't want to wear this type of shoe though to run because again it's specifically for your the dancers out there so my break dancing lessons I right. wear those okay so for sprinting you have a very different shoe because you're using different parts of your foot right with sprinting you want to go for a really lightweight shoe which is why we like the Saucony Convara this is only 6.7 ounces that's like two ounces lighter than your typical running shoe so if you feel light. very very lightweight also this is perfect for travel because it is so lightweight, it's not going to make your suitcase feel heavy. Very good point. And these are really fun colors, too. I, I like love that. the purple especially. Yeah, you can have so much fun with the colors this season. Yeah, it's all about bright colors, exactly. I see. Okay, so um, something that I probably won't be doing anytime soon <laughs> is um, distance running. Right. Well, <laughs> you don't a see lot, me running through the park. A lot of people, of course, love doing their marathon training. They love running on the treadmill. If you are a person who loves to log a lot of miles, the Mizuno Wave Rider 16 is the shoe for you. You'll notice it has a lot of great arch support that's of course going to help prevent injury as you're pounding the pavement. Good for Jackie. She trains for the next yes, marathon. Exactly. Okay, so walking workouts, you have to have a certain shoe for that as you well. You do. I mean, a lot of people, you know, forget that walking is an excellent workout. So first of all, there's no excuse not to work out if you have the right shoe right. and definitely make sure that you are wearing something that's going to give you a lot of support. So New Balance 1765 is great for those brisk workouts. Well, and I feel like anyone in New York could get you good use out of this because we walk so much yes. in this city. Or you can actually wear this walking shoe okay, from Echo, which is one. great for like your errands if you're going shopping or you're traveling. Again, another super lightweight shoe, and I like the rubber sole. That's going to prevent you from slipping on those days when it's raining like it is today. And they're so cute. Like I remember when sneakers would just kind of function, and now it's a, it's really like function and fashion exactly. have, have really collided with the sneakers. Right. It's so much fun. So many choices. Bahar, thanks for breaking Thank it down you. for me. Now we know what to get Ben, since he's doing so many different classes. I think we'll go with the, uh, maybe he should go for a men's variety of one of these yes. shoes. Yeah. All right. right. Well, thank you, you so much. One. Thank you. And make sure to check out the latest issue of Shape for more info on these shoes and many more. Bahar, thank you. Thanks, Sarah. All right. Well, we'll be right back with an April Fool's Day surprise. Stay tuned. Who knows?